George Marcaro, founder of Wham Concepts. And I'm Brett Ferreira. I'm the franchise and marketing executive at Motorsoft Market Parts. And yeah, we will be sitting together just to start a conversation uh, between two professionals within the retail industry about what we think and uh, about the future of retail. Um, post messages, send us an email, post a video of your own. We'd like to keep this conversation going. If, I, if I've got the power that everyone's got at the moment, I've got the power to research online, I've got the power to shop online, I've got the power, power to do everything on this, this digital world. Mm. What does this mean for the, for the bricks and mortar space? Are we, are we done? No, you know, I'm saying this from a biased point of view because yes. that's my passion. But yes, you know, are we done? Yeah, I almost feel like we're turning a corner, right? So you can go online, you can research, but predominantly people still make a purchase in store, okay? Because you want to be able to touch and feel, you want to have that experience still. The experience that you get in front of a screen, whether it be on your laptop or your PC or your cell phone or whatever you're using, is it's almost a superficial experience. People still want to have a connection. They still want to have a real experience where they can get in and they can touch and feel. They can see whether this is hard, whether this is soft. Yes. They can pick it up and say, I can feel the quality in this cup. Yes. Or I can feel this is an inferior yeah. quality. Perfect. They still want to have that experience, yeah. but they don't have the time to waste. Definitely. Right. So people before used to walk up and down the high street and they would stop at every single street and they would go into each and every retail store and they would be able to compare products and they would walk into one, pick up the coffee cup, oh yes, I like this coffee cup, walk down the street and go and try another coffee cup. Yeah. Right now, people are so pressed for time, they don't have the time to be able to yeah. walk up and down the high street all day. Right. So they do their research online, yeah. but the purchase decision and that experience still needs to happen in the retail space. Yeah. I, I, I completely agree with you, obviously, and uh, and and I want to support you. you. You're going to get a lot of flack from from all the digital guys uh, out there that are going to completely disagree with you. But we all know that that's nonsense. And 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 the reason why that's nonsense, from in my opinion, is that is that if you look at all the so you know, 15 years ago when uh, online retail started started kind of first hitting the world, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the death death of bricks and mortar. Mm. Um, and tech, what happened six, seven years ago, uh, the, the re online retail started realizing if they don't start creating bricks and mortar environments, that it's going to be the death of them. Yes. So we've seen eBay, we've seen Amazon, we've seen all of these guys creating their own physical spaces. Because I think the truth of the matter is, and what you said, is humans are social beings. And the death, the, 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 the death of bricks and mortar will never happen because of the fact is that we need this interaction. Yes. We, we can be in online as much as we want, but we need to find the spaces involved. We've seen that in South Africa as well. Look at what Yappy Chef are doing. You know, traditional online retailer creating typical bricks and mortar stores now mm -hmm. uh, and launching them throughout the country because they've realized that people need that space right. and that will always be. I think I think they're beating us often these the online guys that are going bricks and mortar because they they understand how to give people information mm. because they've got the mass amount of data that often traditional retailers don't have mm. um, but I think I think that there's going to be a play on both mm. um, and I think this whole thing about technology is going to be able to have this play between online and, and offline mm. as a relationship rather than against each other mm. now, t technology must be the enabler right yeah. it mustn't be the reason for it.